daily daily life, right? And so while we're building ecosystems and things like that, we can, you know, we, we when we initially launched BlackBerry 7, we have uh, NFC enabled, but now we get to start seeing it uh, as a core part of the, the operating system. So like uh, the example I'm going to show you is you got two people, maybe you, know, you were out, you took some pictures, you're showing them to your friend, uh, you go in, so you're, you're looking at pictures. I just took this one right when I came in. But you, your, your, your friend says, oh, this is, this is great. I want to see this thing. So you take the two phones, screens are on, kind of hold them back to back, and uh, they'll buzz. And then they connect, right? So on the sending phone, I get asked, do I actually want to send this thing over? And I can, I can dismiss this prompt if I don't want to get it again. But for now, I'll say, yes, I want to send it. On the receiving phone, it says, do you really want to receive this? Or yep. I receive it. It makes a Bluetooth connection, so now I can take the phones apart. You know, if it was a big file, I could walk away. Um, and then when it's, when it's finished on the receiving phone, it's got the picture shown up, right? And so like Andrew said, you know, that pictures is one example. You can do it with videos, you can do it with um, ringtones, you can do it with uh, voice notes, voice memos, anything in the media, the media set that we support, you can send. Contacts is another great example. I can go into my contacts list here. So now I got the, the bold, open up my contacts. I can go into my contact list anywhere. I don't even have to open it. I can just be highlighting it. Uh, and on the receiving phone, I would just, just put the phones back to back. And then it'll send, uh, sort of goes through the same thing. And so on the receiving phone, it should prompt me here if this one goes through. It's a demo, so don't hold me to, yeah, this one didn't, didn't pass the test. Let's try this one again, actually. So this is a sneak peek. We're going to be doing a blog post on this uh, very, fairly soon, but you guys get to see this for the first time. So here's context. So I go send on the receiving phone, and it asks me if I want to receive it. And when you dismiss these, these prompts, let's say you don't want to see these prompts anymore, so it's come up on the receiving phone, um, it sort of becomes magic. So let's say I go in here and I want to send another one. I'll just dis dismiss the prompts. So don't show me again. And send and receive. So if you're sharing things between you know, two friends often, you just say, I trust you. Yeah. So in this case, let's say I go in here, I want to share this contact with, with my friend. I've dismissed the prompts. Now it's, now it's got a bit of BlackBerry magic, right? It's going to send it. I didn't dismiss it on this side. But on this side, it'll just, it'll just receive. Let's do this again. So it goes through and it's done. And it's opened it up on this side. So like Andrew said, we will we'll have uh, built-in support into docs to go if you want to send an Excel spreadsheet over a PowerPoint, um, any document type that's supported there, a PDF. If you're inside of the browser, you can share a link. If you're on a web page, you want to share it with your buddy, tap the two phones together, and you would uh, that would open up their browser with, with the link. So we're pretty excited about it. Um, and then we open up APIs for third parties to go and, and implement their own experiences, right? So sky's the limit in terms of what a third party developer can do. And so we make sure that we, we open that up for, um, for our ISV community. Any questions? Anything, anybody?